Groups is a very powerful service in your Google Workspace account. It allows your team members to do email collaboration using a shared email address, mass event scheduling, and document sharing. We are going to go over those topics today and a few other details. Accessing groups is very simple. You can do that from any service. All you have to do is click on the application launcher, scroll down, and you'll find groups. Applications can be rearranged, so you can click and hold, drag and drop, and click on the uh, application. That's going to launch your Google Groups, specifically my groups. So any groups you've been added to as a member are going to be listed here. And that's how you access your Google Groups. So now that we've accessed groups, we're going to start navigating. We can see on the left, we have my groups, recent groups, all groups in the organization, where you can see the member count. So if you want to check uh, the member count on those groups, this is the place to be. Uh, you can see the activity, and there are additional settings. Let's go back to my groups. So quick actions that you can take in here is the subscription meaning you can receive each email. So each independent topic or email that's sent to the group will be sent over to your inbox as a separate email. You can receive a digest. So just a digest of every few messages or an abridged and no email at all. So if you don't want to receive any, any notifications in your inbox, you can turn this on and you can focus on working just in the group's interface. All right, for now, we're going to access Colab to take a look at how a group topic looks like. This is a topic, and we can see uh, who's the author. So you can reply to all. You can reply to the author of the message only or forward this conversation. So this is a collaborative inbox. We can assign this to ourselves. That'll be uh, assigned to me. You can remove the assignment. And if you want to assign this to somebody else in your team, if you're delegating tasks, you can do that. So let's say Mary should be working on this topic or a ticket, depending if you're using this as a uh, support. All right. You can mark this as duplicate in case you have received already a previous request for this. And you can mark this as no action needed. There are labels as well, so you can add labels and you can create separate labels if you need to mark them with different categories. You can delete the topic and you can lock the conversation. So if you don't want to receive any additional uh, threads on this conversation, you can just lock it. So going back to the conversations, you can hit reply all and you'll see just the same or similar email editor. You have the toolbar at the bottom, just like Gmail, where you can insert links, uh, change the font, change the uh, size, text color, background color. You have the uh, toggle rich text controls. So if you just want to write a plain text email, you can do that. Toggle it back. There is add attachment. And you can also insert just uh, an attachment photo. Now all we have to do is reply back to Roger. Click post message, and this will be sent to Roger as an email notification. And you can also see these if you go back to the conversations. And you'll see that there's a second conversation in this. So that's threaded. Right below conversations, we'll find labels. In here, you'll find existing labels. And if you have the ability, you'll be able to add a new label. and click add. So that's going to add the new label. This can be immediately applied to conversations in this group. Down at the bottom, then you'll find people. People is just the members on that group. So we can see it's two members only, myself and Mary. You can change the role in here. You can see the join dates, and you can change the subscription for each individual. You can also disallow posting to the group or moderate it. So you can have any, any messages posted to the group 
should be first reviewed by the owner or managers. And down below, you'll find pending members if there's somebody who has requested to be added to the group and you haven't yet approved it. Ban users, in case you have externals, you can specify who you want to ban in this conversation or group. About, which is just the uh, group's information details, and you can see my membership settings. In here, if you don't have, or if you're an external, you can request or have the Google account linked. Email to be used for membership and the subscription. Of course, this can be tweaked from many different places. So now we're going to learn how to send an email using the group's email interface from Gmail. All we have to do is go back to the Gmail's interface. We are going to head over to settings. See all settings. Accounts. And we have to add the email under send mail as. So add another email address down at the bottom of the list if you already have many. All right, so all we have to do is now customize this. We'll use this as support, paste the email address. We'll leave the rest of settings as they are. Hit next. And we're gonna send the verification now. Now, keep in mind, this is gonna be sent to the collaborative inbox. So all you have to do is Go back, since you're receiving notifications from this. You have received the notification already. And all you have to do is get the code or click on the link. We're just going to show how that works with the code for now. And click verify. Now the group's email address has been added as a from address. So if you hit compose, and you go to the from field, click on the drop down menu. You will find collaborative inbox as support in here. So you can quickly reply using the collaborative inbox email address within Gmail instead of using your group's interface. I hope you liked the video and stay tuned for more.